Okay, that the front is finished is obvious, so let's click on it and kind of see what the color would do. Right, that's one color. We're after separate pieces. Um, while we have the front, let's just go ahead and see what happens if we take all the option with our selection tool and drag this over and we're holding down shift so it stays level. So you can see here that we have a very good base for the back. Um, let's practice the direct selection tool a bit. And you saw that I was just in isolation mode for double clicking on just one object. So just click anywhere away so you get out of that mode if that's bothering you. With your direct selection tool, just click on this center anchor point and you just kind of lift that up and you can kind of pull on these handles left and right and if you want to add shift while you pull on them to have more control over an individual handle that's great and then we're ready to put some lines in here to cut this up into separate pieces okay very simple we're just gonna take our pen tool and the way that this works is want to pay attention that there's an X um, we can go a little bit further out because we're going to use what's called a pathfinder and the pathfinder likes it when we clearly show which lines are there for cutting and I'm going to do this one more time I'm just going to click over here and click over here actually and avoid the middle anchor point and just kind of pull one basic rule is the less anchor points you have the less of a messy drawer you are. Um, it has to do with your file size and then also how easily you can just make copies and there's a lot of different elements to drawing without a lot of anchor points that will help you in the future. So start the habit of being very neat. All right, once we have one, we can click on it and right click or control click on the map, go to transform, reflect, copy on the vertical that's where we want to reflect and then move that over with our arrow keys and perhaps holding down shift with our selection tool hold down shift so you have two of these and then you can just press command and c or control and c for copy command and c is copy and then command and f or control and f is paste in front and then we move that copy of both of these over for the back and we are going to now learn how to once again activate an individual anchor point. Um, this anchor point here is really important because it connects the neck shoulder intersection here on the left and the neck shoulder intersection on the right. And I'm going to copy and paste to front with my shortcuts Control C and Command C or Control and F and Command and F. And what I did is just get that one segment. I'm going to delete this and show you once again. If I click on the path and then copy and paste to front, you see how I'm only getting that segment. That's not what I want. I want the connecting part and then copy and paste to front. And that's what I need here to do something which is really cool, which is create the binding. And we're going to do that by going to object path and say offset path. We're going to do a little preview and you can see that that's way out of range. So if we go in here and we kind of take these values down, just by deleting them, you can see how that becomes smaller. We can actually also put a little zero in front of here and that will make it really, really small. And then perhaps see what happens if we go up with this number. So I like it at 0 0.065. I'm going to say OK. You can see how I created a part that doesn't really exist. So I'm just going to shift click with my direct selection tool to delete one time. And you can see how I have a nice parallel line over here. OK. Um, one thing that's happening is if you just have a copy and you move that down you can see how that's a lot shorter, so offsetting the path works a little bit better. And depending on how you drew it, it's going to look really, really good. Um, we can kind of 
extend these lines either by pulling on them or by using our pen tool and just drawing an extra segment there just because we need it to go a little bit over the edge. Okay, let's do the same thing in the back. So you're going to find that center anchor point with your direct selection tool. Copy paste to front. So if you forgot the shortcuts, just go to edit and then you can see your shortcuts there. And then we're going to click on this new path and then go to object path offset path. And we still have that value on preview. If that's okay, we'll just say okay. And if it looks a little different and the original that's fine um, one thing we don't want to do and let's just do this quickly if we click without making a copy and the entire outline shows up and if we go to object path offset path let's preview that that's kind of nice for graphics but we don't want to create a extra outline around the entire garment so let's cancel out of there so that's why we're making a copy here and then we're going to go ahead and just take our direct selection tool and click on the anchor points that we don't need. And sometimes it happens that there's a little anchor point left. So you can press Ctrl and A or Command and A and just check if you're a little bit of a messy draw. That's what I call it. And there's actually a function for this. And that's, let's say, sometimes people are just really messy and they have anchor points everywhere. Something called an object path cleanup. And that will be cleaning up stray points. And as you can see, now my stray points are gone. All right, so let's compare with the original. Pretty, pretty good. So you can see how quickly we came from just drawing the front, drawing the back by copying and just taking existing components and just changing them up. And now we want to separate this. I'm going to actually create a copy of this and that's because I'm going to just click and drag over this because I want to show you two different methods. Okay, so let's go ahead and before we touch anything and put any color, let's select everything, make sure everything is highlighted. Sometimes what we do is we kind of click and drag and we forget something. So see here, for example, we didn't activate that right armhole. So we're going to just click and drag over everything, check really quickly. And then we're going to either copy and paste to front and move this down. Make sure we move it far away so that it doesn't touch the top drawing. Because otherwise it'll be hard to separate because we're not grouping anything yet. Or you could have just selected it all. And let me just show you with your selection tool obviously if you press alt option you get the double arrow and you could have just pulled it into any area where you wanted it okay whichever way you are doing this you'll be fine by the way let's go ahead and save this so file save as let's do basic t traced ready or just anything that you remember and it's it AI illustrated document and just say okay and then say okay a second time. All right, so let's focus on the first method. So the first method we will use our Pathfinder. So we're going to go to Window Pathfinder, and if you hover over these, once again we get our little tooltips. And the one we're using is in Pathfinder down here on the lower left, and that's our divide option. We're going to divide this t-shirt we're going to go one by one so the front first and then the back and we're going to just when we put color in here we'll see that the lines that are there to divide are actually on top so that's great and then we're going to just click and drag over all these components and we're going to tell illustrator to divide this with our pathfinder you can see how before we had a little bit of an extension here and once we hit this button divide even though it looks like almost nothing happened a lot happened actually it chopped it um, we need to further go into object ungroup and once we do that we now have these wonderful separate pieces that we were after. Let's do the same thing for the back. Divide, object, ungroup and then we can take them apart. 
And here um, is one of those scenarios where I didn't pay attention. So you can see here that because my line either didn't go over or I didn't select it. Let me just see what I did. It didn't divide it. All right, so let's just take this opportunity and correct my mistake right away. So extend it a little bit. And then let's hit divide object on group. And here are separate pieces. Okay, all right. I'm actually gonna make a third copy here. So I'm just gonna drag with option or alt. And I wanna show you really quickly how if I just press divide here and an object ungroup, if all the lines were extended, which I just had to extend those, it still works if you do it on multiple objects at the same time. Okay, I just wanted us to practice one by one. All right, so that's the Pathfinder and just try it out a couple of times. Um, there's an episode where we are going to use it again. So if you go, for example, and you look for, I believe it's 605, you'll do a progression of a t-shirt. So you're going to use the Pathfinder over and over again. So that's a really good exercise that you can try out if you feel like you didn't really understand it yet.